Many YouTubers talk about the fake natty, short for fake natural. The jacked fitness influencer who sells you his or her products and training methodologies while using their bodies as their biggest selling point. The overwhelming problem that the public has with these people is their unwillingness to talk about their anabolic hormone usage, you know, the stuff that helped them get said body. However, my question for you is, what exactly does this discussion look like? Recently, the largest individual content creator on YouTube, PewDiePie, talked about fake natties for the first time. Again, if we... <laughs> If it ain't looking natural, it ain't natural. And I don't even necessarily have a problem with it. It is the lack of transparency that I have an issue with, especially when these Instagram influencers are selling their epic workout routines. Bro, just use my code and you can also look like me. Like, shut the fuck up. Beyond just the Instagram influencers, PewDiePie also talks about A-list celebrities who bulk up for movie roles. But you have companies like Disney and Marvel producing these superheroes expanding their muscles to fit the part in a very short amount of time. And I think uh, to start off, Chris Hem Hemsworth is a great example. But I, what I don't like about Chris, especially is that he's selling this app, but the whole selling point is, you know, they want to look like Chris. And I can even see myself as a teenager, if I was young selling this, I would totally buy into that. And it's just lame, dude. So this begs the question, what would happen if someone like Chris Hemsworth came out and actually mentioned his steroid use? Does that legitimize or delegitimize his workout app? As it stands right now, I think we can assume that these celebs will avoid the questions about their use and their publicists will likely procure interviews where they don't actually have to worry about answering these questions. However, what if he said, and just bear with me here, what if he said, yes, I use steroids to put on muscle for these roles. However, fitness and health is and always has been a very important part of my life. This app isn't correlated to the Thor version of myself. Rather, it's correlated to the real version of myself. It would be interesting. Because in this case, essentially we can see two versions of an influencer, two versions of Chris Hemsworth. One who is doing his job and one who is genuinely living a healthy lifestyle and likely has advice that surely can be beneficial to others. Isn't that what we see from people like Greg Doucette and Derek oh, from More Plates, More Dates? both of whom have used and continue to use exogenous hormones, however, give great advice on how to improve your fitness and health as a non-user. Again, I just don't think it's likely that a massive movie star like Chris Hemsworth would be a trailblazer and admit use. If you think about it, the weirdo movie moguls are so out of touch with not just the fitness industry, but the world as a whole, they would surely not want any of the perceived smoke from allowing a <gasps> steroid user on their movie sets. So we see the so-called best option for these guys. Ignore and never address the needle. I mean, question in the room. This path solidifies their future in movie roles and the current following they have. It's not worth the risk of a culture change on whatever platform it is that they are on. Remember, your YouTube algorithm, the one that led you to this video, is unlike most of the world's. The gym and the content that surrounds it isn't interesting to them like it is to you. They'll grab a medium popcorn, a Sprite, maybe some Airheads Extreme Bites. Oh wait, that's me. Whatever. They'll go to the movie, watch Thor, leave the movie, get on their TikToks with Harry Styles or Zendaya content, and get ready for work tomorrow. Happy. They won't take the time to understand the nuance of steroid use. If this person is randomly exposed to Chris Hemsworth admitting use to, in most cases, an illicit substance, do we really think they're going to take the time to understand the nuance here? Again, I believe this is sadly the case with most people in the world. And for movie moguls and celebrities, why would you try to bite the hand that feeds you? The masses, the majority, we, the fitness, strength, and alt sport algorithm weirdos, are simply put, not worth it. I made a video a while back about Brian Johnson, AKA the liver king. Now, this video's approach was unlike many of the other natty or not callouts on YouTube at the time. I tried to bring forward a similar utilitarian argument or question in that video that I'm bringing forth today. Is it truly better for the world to admit use? If so, what does that world look like? 
It seems as though the liver king has gone down the trickiest fake natty route, flat out denial. After saying he quote unquote never touches the stuff, he left a further cryptic message that may have been a shot at my video, I'm not really sure. Am I a gossip queen for asking questions? Well, maybe you can help me decide. So this is where I hand it off to you. What does the ideal post fake natty truther convert look like? What exactly are the criteria for their process in becoming said truther? And is the juice really worth the squeeze?